With AutoGrader, we replace the tedious native tool sets in Civil 3D with a dynamic site grading system. Shown here, we can create grading families, in this case for curbing within a parking lot. I use filtering to include a set of baseline feature lines. We'll call these parent feature lines. I can then create child feature lines by spelling out components in an intuitive list view. In this case, I'm going to create a top of curve, a back of curve, and a lip of curve. And I can anchor those to different components, be it the parent feature line or another child feature line. Then I simply spell out the gradient method, distance, slope, and elevation parameters. All the while, I get an intuitive graphical representation of what I'm creating in the bottom half. AutoGrader also handles all the feature line styling, layering, and sites of the child children feature lines that are going to be created. I can run this and we'll see in a matter of seconds it'll create a whole bunch of additional child feature lines. I can tell this these feature lines to be added to the surface, spelling out supplementing factors, and just like that we can create dozens of feature lines based on a set of rules defined in a grading family. I can load grading families from templates. In this case I've loaded a pond design. I simply run the family and it'll grade my pond for me. There's daylighting options in here. If you choose the method slope to surface or distance to surface, we have detailed control on the frequency of the daylight line. And there we can see it daylights into our existing ground generating a grading plan in just a fraction of the time we normally would. Now, oftentimes you might make a mistake, you might define your family incorrectly, or there's a design change. In this case I'm going to change some of my grading family and I'm going to run it again. I had my curve inverted and it'll automatically update all those child feature lines for me. Or perhaps I'm just changing the shape or the size of my pond. I change that parent feature line I simply rerun the pond grading and all the child feature lines as well as the surface will update. That was what's known as parallel grading families. There are also what are called perpendicular grading families. This will generate child feature lines at a perpendicular angle to the parent feature line. In this case it's automatically going to lay out and grade lots. We can also take a set of existing lot lines that have arbitrary lengths and sizes to them. In this case, these are all polylines. I'm going to choose my right-of-way feature lines, and it's going to grade out these polylines based on a set of parameters I defined. It prompts me and says it's going to create the polylines into feature lines. And then I run that, and it adds all those lots into the other grading family. I can very easily change the design changing slopes. If I run this again, you'll see all those feature lines update and the surface, you'll see those contours refresh. So with AutoGrader, you can take hours of grading, turn it into just minutes. Yeah.